highly anticipated race is California's 22nd district. The seat's held by incumbent Republican Devin Nunes of Tulare. Nunes is currently in Washington because Congress is in session. One of those challenging him today, Democrat Andrew Jan, CBN's 47's Angelica Leilani, live from Clovis. And Angelica, Jan's came in far behind incumbent Nunes, uh, but will he still advance to the November election? That's right, Joey. Looks like as if Jans will be going head to head with Nunes this fall. And the Democratic Party has been championing him along. But as Jan said last night, there is still work to be done before November. It's been quite the campaign for 22nd District Congressional Candidate Andrew Jans. I'm a Deputy District Attorney with Fresno County, and I go to work every day, and I'm an advocate for this community, for public safety, and I want to do that in Washington as well. Now hard work paying off. Tuesday night poll showed him second behind incumbent Devin Nunes. Battle is going to really happen between now and November. According to the research group Open Secrets, Jans raised more than $1 million for his campaign and supporters back him on the issues. He also doesn't believe that foreign countries should interfere with the United States elections and he's willing to do something about it. Congressman Devin Nunes issued this statement to us exclusively saying, I want to thank the voters for reaffirming their support for the work we are doing on behalf of the San Joaquin Valley. I also want to thank our team that works hard all year delivering the best constitute services to our district. And yesterday, President Donald Trump tweeted support for Devin Nunes, saying, Vote for Congressman Devin Nunes, a true American patriot, the likes of which we rarely see in our modern day world. He truly loves our country and deserves everyone's support. And that's the latest I have for you. Reporting live in Clovis, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Angelica, thanks. We hear that bird tweeting too, not just the president.